Consumers now expect more from their banks. They've changed the way they do shopping, they've changed the way they buy music. Nobody had changed the way they did their banking. So we decided to build a bank like no other. We needed to take every single transaction that a customer had and made sure it was augmented by lots of data. But unlike other banks, we would use that data for the customer's benefit. Starling Bank is a new bank based on new technology and a new proposition for consumers. We at Starling Bank are the first bank with PST2 compliant APIs. And it's been that way since day one. Open APIs allow consumers to consume and own their data. And it allows consumers to share that data with people they trust. With all this data that the consumer owns, not the bank, but the consumer owns, we can actually use so much machine learning and artificial intelligence to give people insight. And that insight can help people figure out whether they have enough money to the end of the day, the end of their life, whether they have enough pension, whether they're going to need to save more. We are providing fundamental services that help people with their financial life. At Starling, we deploy new functionality several times a day. We constantly take feedback from our customers and refine and deliver. AWS provides the opportunity for us to scale. As we go into Europe, as we provide business accounts, as we provide services to corporates and government institutions, we're providing these services on AWS. We can do something encumbered banks can't because we listen to our customers, we build, we respond, and we scale. But to do that, we needed capability, we need compute power, we needed lots of data storage, and that's why we came to rely upon AWS, an infrastructure that allow us to grow, to scale, and to change very quickly. We had a big effort and investment in explaining to regulators and auditors about the benefits and resilience and security of the cloud. But when people listen, when people understand, when people realize what is possible in the cloud, then great things happen. The most important thing as far as people are concerned is their own health, their family's health, and their financial health. And we're using machine learning to help with that very, very important challenge. We're at the start of a journey. We're launching in Europe, we're launching business accounts, we're already serving large corporates and governments in the UK. And fundamentally, we're doing this on AWS. We're doing this with services that are scalable and resilient. We have a long way to go, and it's based on AWS.